Hey man, Cork here, reminding you to watch the box office smash hit Thor Ragnarok, starring me and Meek. And don't forget to subscribe to Adam and Taylor World, because when you do this, we form a special intimate relationship, and losing you is almost comparable to losing a loved one. Just like Thor and his hammer. Oops, spoiler alert. What's up everybody, welcome back to Adam and Tyler World. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. Well, this is the Fast Lane Predictions video. It's a little late than, uh, oh, little. it's a little later than most. Uh, I've been super busy at work, working 15 hour plus days, but it is, time has come, and I gotta get this video, and it's coming out now. So, I'm gonna give you my predictions. You give me your predictions below, give me in the comments, and whoever gets the most right, the most points, will get a shout out in the results video on Sunday night or Monday morning, depending on how busy I am on Sunday night. Um, so rules, if you've never seen this before, or never done this or completed or whatever, um, it's whoever gets the W. You see the W right there? The WWE. Whoever gets the W, that's who the point goes for. It doesn't matter if it's disqualification or something else or blah, blah, blah. Whoever is said they, they win the match, that's who gets the point for that person. So, like I said, if Rusev wins because, uh, who's he going against? Shinsuke Nakamura uh, gets disqualified, then Rusev wins. If you said Rusev, you get a point. Um, also, one other thing I noticed... Uh, if you do comment like uh, down below, do me a favor. If you do, if you do edit your result or your predictions, they will not count. So if you make a new one, that's fine. You can predict more than once or twice, but do not edit them because I realize that people could cheat. I'm not saying anybody has cheated, but I did see that loophole in the system. Aha! So make your predictions. If you have a change of change of heart, just do another comment. Uh, all right. So we've got six matches. Uh, we're gonna get into them right now. So first match, we've got Becky Lynch versus Na Becky Lynch and Naomi versus Natalia and Carmella. Um, we got the faces, which are Becky Lynch and Naomi. Um, we got Natalia and Carmella, which are the heels. Um, I'm gonna go with Natalia and Carmella on this one. Uh, just a gut feeling, really. I'm gonna go, yeah, it's gonna be a gut feeling for a lot of these. I have no idea. Just. That's what I think. And then you can comment below and let me know what you think. And maybe you have more sense to this than I do. Um, match number two, the Royal Rumble winner, Mr. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Rusev Matsuka. Um, I think Shinsuke is going to win this one. I think they're going to keep building his momentum for WrestleMania. Even though he really doesn't have that much momentum, he's got to win the pay-per-view right before because he's probably going to win at WrestleMania against a secret opponent. Um... So yeah, I got Shinsuke Nakamura winning that one over Rusev, which stinks because I'm a real big fan of Rusev. Not really a big fan of Shinsuke Nakamura, to be honest with you. Um, match number three, we got it for the United States Championship. We've got Bobby Roode, glorious, versus Randy Orton. Uh, Randy Orton has never won the United States Championship, um, so he can, can't be called the Grand Slam champion, but... I think that's going to continue after Fastlane. I think uh, Jinder Mahal is probably going to get inter interfered, do something. Uh, so they're probably like a three-way or something at WrestleMania. So maybe Randy Orton can finally become uh, Grand Slam champion at WrestleMania. But as far as Fastlane goes, I think Bob Roode is going to win it and keep it. He might even win it and keep it after WrestleMania. But they're, if they're going to do it, they're probably going to wait for that for WrestleMania. So it's like, ooh, it's a big thing that Randy Orton finally became Grand Slam champion. Um, next up, match number four for the Women's Championship. Uh, we got Charlotte Flair, the current champion, versus Ruby Riot. Um, I don't think Ruby Riot has a chance. It'll be a decent match. I said Charlotte's a really good wrestler. Ruby Riot's all right from what I've seen. I honestly haven't seen too many of her matches. Um, <clears throat> Charlotte's going to win on this one, no doubt, because she's going to go on and face Asuka, who's going to come out after the match and finally let her know, like, hey, I'm challenging you, mofo. Uh, <laughs> for the Women's Championship at WrestleMania. Um, match number five, it is for the Tag Team Championship right here. As you see, the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship. You got the Usos versus the New Day. Um, I think this is going to be the first title change and the only title change of the night, actually. I think the New Day is going to win it, and they're going to go against the Usos at WrestleMania, possibly, or they'll probably have like other people, too, maybe. Um maybe Bludgeon Brothers and Usos. I don't know what they're going to do. But I'm getting on the New Day. See the tag team title belt up there? I'm a big fan. Um, and that's not why I'm doing it, but I just think the New Day is going to win. 
Uh, next up, the sixth and final match for the WWE Championship, the current champion, AJ Styles, who I've met before, video in my other videos, um, versus Baron Corbin, Kevin Owens, John Cena, Sami Zayn, and Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler gets thrown in there all the time. I mean, I like him. I think he's a really good wrestler, but man, they're just like, we need another guy. Throw Dolph in. We need another guy. Dolph. Uh, we got a six women match and we need a seventh woman. Don't even have to put a wig on Dolph Ziggler. Don't have to shave him. He's got, he's clean shaven. He's got long hair. Throw him in the match. Dolph's all in all the matches, uh, which is good. But I'm not complaining. I just find it funny. Like he's not really winning any matches, but somehow he's in the WWE Championship match. Um, Baron Corbin's not going to win. He's probably going to get pinned or Dolph Ziggler. Kevin Owens is going to win because he's going to keep uh, his rivalry going with Sami Zayn. It's going to be Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at WrestleMania, I'm guessing. Um, AJ Styles is going to win. John Cena is not going to win. I know he's talking about, oh, like, I'm going to break the record, 17-time champion. They're not going to do that on Fastlane. That is too huge of a milestone to do at a dumb pay-per-view name, Fastlane. The only thing worse than that is Great Balls of Fire, which they've only done once, thank goodness, which was actually one time too many. Um, Sami Zayn, once again, is not going to win uh, because he's going to go against Kevin Owens at WrestleMania, I'm predicting. Um, go back to John Cena real quick. Um, if there was something I was going to say. It was very important. Oh, they keep wondering, like, ooh, who's going to fight at WrestleMania? He's going to fight somebody. I just hope it's not The Undertaker. It looks like it might be The Undertaker. Maybe The Undertaker will show up at the end. I don't know. Um, could be Rey Mysterio. That could be, eh, whatever. Rey Mysterio's not that great on the microphone. There's, I don't know. I don't know who John Cena's going to face at WrestleMania, but it's looking towards The Undertaker, but I hope it's not. But it's definitely not going to be his WWE champion. Um, and then you got, like I said, Dolph Ziggler. He's just thrown in there just for possibly somebody to get pinned. Like AJ Styles is probably going to pin him, or he, AJ Styles is going to probably pin Baron Corbin. Or once again, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are going to be distracted. And they're going to beat each other up, and then AJ Styles is going to come in and pin him. Who knows? We're going to find out on Sunday. Um, that is it for my predictions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, let's say I got all these beautiful belts behind me. Check out my videos if you want to see. I like to push them on there. You can check it out and see, like, hey, I like that belt. I want to buy it. Or, eh, I don't really like that belt. I'm not going to buy it. So it saves you money or it confirms your decision in purchasing the belt. I had people say that before, and I love hearing that because I bought some belts before and I got them. I'm like, mm, it's not as much as like, it's not as cool as I thought. But then I had other belts I looked at, but all right, it's really cool, and I loved it. So check that out. Um, that is it for today. Um, like I said, don't forget to like this video, comment below your your, uh, your predictions, uh, and subscribe. Once again, I do appreciate it greatly, and until next time, peace.